So we're going to talk about converging lenses and specifically uh, what are some useful rays that you can draw that will help you figure out where your image is. And this is just true for overall uh, any converging lenses. So when we say converging lenses, um, we mean this shape of lens that we have actually seen previously where you have two curved surfaces. And the purpose of this lens is to do exactly what it says, which is to converge light. So any light that will be entering the lens will converge to a single point uh, somewhere on the other side. And that's the general idea behind converging lenses. But um, uh, we're going to talk about how to draw a ray diagram to help us figure out um, where the image is located. So there's specifically three rays that you can draw uh, that, will, that will really help us. Um, so uh, what we can do, draw first, uh, remember we're in the realm of the thin lens approximation, so I have my lens here and I have this dashed line indicating where the, the optical plane of the lens is. Um, the first ray that we're going to draw is parallel to this uh, optical axis right here. So I'm going to draw a parallel ray, right? It will come in, it will hit that optical, uh, optical plane of the lens and any parallel rays, uh, parallel to the optical axis, will be bent towards the focal point. So what we can do is we can draw a ray through the focal point on the opposite side. Um, another ray that we can draw, we can just go straight through the center of the lens and it will just continue to travel. Uh, so let's see how, let's see if I can do this like that. Super. So that light ray is a second light ray that you can draw. It will just travel straight through the center of the lens there, very useful. Um, now our final light ray that we can draw is we can actually draw a light ray from the tip of the arrow through the focal point on this side of the lens. Um, so this will go through the focal point right there, hit the lens, and then it will come out the opposite side parallel to the optical axis. Right? So it's just like this first way we drew, just sort of opposite. And now we see that there is this point here where they all intersect and we can draw our arrow, our image. So there's our image. Um, and now if we see that for this situation in particular, we have light traveling through the lens and to this point where this image is located. So this image is a real image because the light rays are actually traveling to the location of that image. So this is a real image with a real, uh, a positive image distance. Um, so those are the three rays that you can draw to help you figure out where an image is located for a converging lens.